Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about the Premiere Pro Update Checklist. I'm going to give you this update checklist. This is a PDF with built-in pop-up help that I created just for you. It will take you through the steps that you need to do before you update and after you update. Keep this around and use this every single time Adobe comes up with a new update, especially a very big update, like when the second number or the first number changes, then you need to do these things. And all of this information comes from years and years and decades of, of working with this. Uh, thanks to Arthur Bell and his folks over and his crew who helped me with this list. I, I sent them ideas and they uh, uh, gave me a yay or a nay on them. Also, Dave Helmley at Adobe and uh, a lot of my other buddies that I, I'm going back and forth with to tweak this document to make sure that it's accurate, useful, and very simple to use. The bottom line is these are the steps that I take, Dave takes every single time there's an update and everything is going to run smoother. Okay, the first one is backing up your presets. If you don't make your own presets, then don't worry about this. But if you do, it's so easy to lose these presets, especially if an update comes and you clear things out and you reset and you realize your beautiful um, presets are gone. You should get in the habit of backing them up maybe once a month, I like to think I do that, I don't as much. So the first thing we're gonna do is back up presets. So in Premiere Pro, in the effects panel, and it's behind your project panel here, and I've created one simple one. So you can right click on that one and click export presets, give it a name and save it wherever you're, you're going to save it. You can also do it from here, from the little flyout menu, export the presets, and later you can import presets. So after you've updated and cleared everything, your presets are going to be gone. This is going to help you import presets. So that's number one on the list, manually export presets. The goofy thing is number two is also exporting presets, but it's using the sync settings. And I want to tell you that the sync settings don't always work. In fact, I have two systems that I was working on to check this out. This laptop failed with sync settings and my uh, desktop worked. And when I talked to my buddy Mitch at Adobe, he said it happens more often than it should, but it does happen when um, the time seems to be off, the time of your clock internal in your computer, um, when it's connecting to the time clock at Adobe. So. You have to reset that. Unfortunately, I could not get it to work on this one. That's why the first thing is backing up your presets. But I'm going to show you where sync settings are. It's it's worth uh, getting used to this. So down at the bottom here, if you click on this, you'll see sync settings now, use from a different account, or manage sync settings. So if you click on manage, it will open up the preferences, and you can see what you're syncing. And if it works, it's great because it syncs all of these things at the same time. Preferences, workspaces, and keyboard shortcuts. So all of these things are, are set automatically. But if I try it, sync settings now, it's gonna tell me it has to close this document. I'm not gonna reopen this, but it has to close the current document to save the settings, to try to sync the settings. And I can tell you right now with it taking this long, it's not going to work. So syncing settings should take about a second or two uh, if it works, uh, but when it doesn't, it's not a happy thing. Okay, so you manually, uh, uh, all right, so step one, you've manually backed up your presets. You've tried sync settings, it worked great. If it didn't, change your time on your, on your computer clock, sync it, both Mac and Windows have a way to set a, a sync to a certain server. Next is to update the actual application. So Creative Cloud has its own application and I've got a whole tutorial on updating with Creative Cloud. So right now I don't have any regular updates. I've got some beta updates uh, that are available. But when you see updates are available and you click on update and you're ready to go. And you can click update all up here on the right. Of course, never update in the middle of a project. Why? Because some settings could uh, cause you to have problems and you might uh, miss some time working. So never update in the middle of a project. So that's step three, update your, uh, your Premiere Pro. So now you've backed everything up and you've 
updated now to a new version of Premiere Pro. The next uh, th uh, three steps are about making sure Premiere Pro is not being influenced by something that is a corrupt or old or bad setting. Because by default, um, Premiere Pro is going to use a bunch of, of other settings that it's saved, cache settings and plug-in caches and all this stuff. It's using it all to make sure that you're, uh, you don't have to up update things because the plug-in cache is, is one. Let me just show you that here. If we go to the preferences in audio, audio plugin manager, and this is where the cache is set of all of your plugins. So if it, if Premiere Pro can use your old plugin cache, then when it launches, it won't have to rescan that. And if you don't have a lot of extra plugins, then you know, two, three, or a dozen or so, it's not gonna take very long. But on my other computer, I've got a bunch of, of video plugins, effects plugins, and also music plugins. And it can take me a few minutes to iron that out every single time, because I don't wanna have a, a grand piano uh, plugin working in Premiere Pro, so I have to go and turn a bunch of things on and off. It's best to flush all of that out and redo that each time, because that can cause a problem. Okay, so the next step is launching Premiere Pro and immediately holding the Option key and the Shift key on Mac, the Alt and Shift key on Windows. You have to do it incredibly fast. Launch, hold, and you keep your finger down until you see this prompt show up. And that's asking if you want to clear the um, plugin cache and your preferences, and uh, it removes all of that information. What doesn't happen is Premiere Pro does not get rid of your um, recent files. If you see the regular start screen, you'll see a bunch of projects showing up in here. Those are links to projects. They're not projects. Way too many people think that what they're looking at is a project inside the application, and it's not. It's just a, a helping hand to quickly load something you've had before. Photoshop does this, Word does this, many programs do this. So when you do that step and hold down Option or Alt Shift and it clears it out, it removes these, pre these um, uh, links and lots of people freak out. They think Premiere Pro has deleted everything. It does not delete. It doesn't delete your media or your projects. In fact, if you think that your stuff is in Premiere Pro, then you're not really paying attention to how video is done. I've got a whole tutorial on the first thing that editors should do. I've got another one about what importing is. You're responsible for your own housekeeping. You should know where these files are. So if they're missing from here, you know where to go already. Don't count on, on Premiere Pro So uh, for remembering those. So flush out that cache. Okay, the next one you do with no projects open. Back to your preferences. Your preferences are in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac. Preferences, media cache, and delete cache. And this one here, delete all media cache files from the system. Again, this is not gonna delete projects, videos, assets, audio, images. It deletes the cache files that Premiere Pro has been making. So if you bought a brand new computer and you installed a brand new version of Premiere Pro, this is where you would begin. No cache at all. So it doesn't delete anything. This can solve a million problems because this cache gets corrupt and it's huge and it's just a problem. So. Again, so what Dave does at Adobe and what I do here at Video Revealed, oh, new update, bang, 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 delete the cache, start again. And you're really not limiting yourself at all. There's nothing to worry about. Now, the last thing is updating drivers. And you might get, when you launch Premiere Pro, if you have problems with your system, you might see this system compatibility report. And it will give you some options to fix, like updating your graphics drivers or updating your operating system to its newest version. This is constantly being updated. I, so I had an original tutorial on this, which is still valid, but since I had that, many things have been added to the system compatibility report. If it doesn't come up, then you'll, you, you won't see it. I had to actually invoke that. But if it does come up, fix those things and you're ready to go. So that's the list, manually export presets, uh, sync your settings, update, and then reset, delete cache, fix your drivers. 
This is, like I said, it's a PDF with little pop-ups. Let me show you what this looks like. So when you get this as a PDF, it, it just looks like text, which it is. But if you click on the little help screens, it will open up and show you a screenshot of each one of those, then click on hide help. And I've got one for each one of these so you can remember where to click, what it is. Uh, update, what do I update? Oh yeah, you're updating Creative Cloud. And this is what that dialog box looks like. You wanna make sure you reset the plugins. Delete the cache. This is the two steps you have to delete the cache. And then the last one, here's an example of the compatibility report with an issue to fix. So that's for you. That document will be on videorevealed.com. There's a link in the description in the download section. So if you just go to videorevealed.com and go to downloads, it's gonna be sitting there waiting for you. Hopefully this is something that you can use and share. Oh yeah, and another thing, you can click on the link at the top. If you click on this video revealed on the top, it'll actually take you to this tutorial. So if you forget where the tutorial is, the two are, are linked together, the document, uh, linked to the video and the video linked to the document. Please share this with anyone else that you know that might benefit from this. If you're in a larger organization, then stick this on a server, have everybody use it. Like I said, this is all blessed by Adobe. This is the same kind of stuff when I used to work at Adobe. I used to tell customers and I used to do this myself to make sure everything is running as smoothly as possible. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, please subscribe. It means, it means a lot uh, to us here if you do that. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video in the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to make things run smoother for you. <laughs>